Hey guys, it is Zach here, and tonight I want to talk to you guys about this crazy idea I have with the Eskimo Quick Fish 3i. Well, I hate to say it, but duck hunting is almost here, and I love the summer, but there's something about hunting that I really like almost more. Um, and this is my idea for this year. You guys all know I got this Eskimo Quick Fish 3i, and I just kind of had a a moment here this last week and I thought I gotta set this thing up and see how much room is in here because there's some stuff I I love my other tent but there's some stuff about it that I I would rather have with this for this year so um, first of all as you all know I have the Coleman Sunset Dunes four-person tent I did a review on it a long time ago and if you look at the previous duck hunting videos I normally stay in that some of the limitations on it though are it can be kind of cold because it's screened with a rain fly and it, it can actually get really cold in there. Um, and to put the cots that we just bought this year in there, I found out that it's really tight and um, you, you can't stand to get dressed. So I love that tent. It's an awesome tent. I'll never get rid of it. But this year I think I want to try this idea. Um, also, you can see the tarp there. That's a 9 by 7 and it's another one's tucked behind there. That'll come in in just a minute here. So, this is the idea for this year. As far as I'm concerned, you guys know how my dad's setup is. And I don't know if anything's going to change with that this year, but this is my idea. Um, so, here we go. This takes up a lot more room in the car, but you can stand in it. And this is insulated. If you watch our duck hunting videos, you'll kind of see during the day we're in t-shirts. But at nighttime, you can see your breath. It gets really cold. And the insulation factor on this, I think, will come in really handy compared to that uh, Coleman tent. Um, and I haven't used it yet, so I really want to use this thing. This is my idea for the outside, though. I'm going to kind of place this, hopefully, in between a couple trees. And one of those 9x7 tarps, I'm going to put over the top and tether it to the trees because I don't have any idea how uh, waterproof this is and sometimes we get a lot of rain up there I'll have to look and see what's going on this year when it gets closer but uh, I do want to do that and I want it to be up there so that the back end of the tarp whether this is the back or the other side basically the side I'm not walking in and out of is really close back here no overhang on the front side of it I want it to overhang as much as possible with those tarps that way I get a little bit of a dry area in front and that, that's really handy sometimes especially if you put down a little rug or something so the leaves don't get carried in um, another thing with this is it doesn't have a floor in it obviously because it's a nice house so I got another 9 by 7 I'm gonna lay it down I'm gonna stake it and that way there's a barrier between the ground and I, because if it does rain a lot, I don't need wet, soggy ground in my shelter. Um, that can be kind of a pain. Uh, so that's kind of my idea with the outside. Obviously, I'll tether it down. I think I'm, I'm going to get some uh, like carabiner clips, and I'll clip it here. I had to buy some stakes for the other side, but I'm just going to clip it on here, and it'll be more than enough. But it never gets super uh, windy. In, in the woods like that so I should be okay with with tying it down that much uh, all four corners of course um, but let's take a peek on the inside this is my idea if you guys can see uh, there's kind of a lot going on here and there's a lot more going on in my brain uh, so as we walk in you might notice I have some floor mats in here and Sam bought me these they're I don't know three three eighths maybe half inch material and I think they'd be an excellent thing to put on the floor um, not only to kind of quiet the fact that I'm walking on a tarp and that it's not so slippery if it's wet but also for insulation value because when you get up and you want to put your clothes on you want to be warm it gets really cold at night um, so I'm hoping I can bring these I got one more so I might throw one more underneath that way so I can put my shoes over there We'll see how everything plays out here. I gotta think about this more, of course, but this is just my idea. So as we step in here, you guys seen the review of it before. We got four windows and there's two vents up high here. Um, and it just so happens that a full-size cot fits in here 
perfectly um, with a little bit of wiggle room. <laughs> it doesn't sit perfectly against the wall, but it sits in here perfectly kind of centered that you can come in that door or this door and walk on either side. So the way it's set up, it really wouldn't matter because it fits in there evenly both ways. Um, the nice part that I find is that I can stand because in the morning when you're trying to put on all those heavy clothes, you really need to stand. Uh, so I can stand in here. I got lots of headroom, uh, especially here uh, t towards the edge, right? And I have a vision of the double buddy heater sitting right there so that in the morning when I wake up, I can turn it on and I can get this nice heat rolling in here, especially with the insulation. It should hold it in, I, I'm hoping. Um, obviously, I'm not going to run the buddy heater at night because that's slightly dangerous. And although it has the vents, I just don't trust it. Um, so just during the morning, or if it's really cold, I'm getting ready at night, possibly. Uh, I got my small foldable table with the lantern. And this is just a battery lantern. I would probably use the same one. My dad has given me two gas lanterns along with a tree hanger. And I do maybe, I'm maybe going to use a gas lantern in here, but if not, I'm for sure using them outside. Um, I can hang this battery one from the top on these poles. I can hang it up up here. I would never hang a gas one though because it just will get too hot for this material. But I can hang that and get some light there too. Uh, but I do like it down lower because I get a little more. But that's an option, right? And I can also make a little cargo area up there and I can hang like wet clothes up there too. Um, here's my cot. These are just Walmart cots, but they're really nice. Um, they have good storage pockets on them for keys and even a drink if you need one. Um, I really love these cots. They're pretty inexpensive and they work really well. Also, this is just a crazy idea, but at nighttime with cots it gets kind of cold because the cold air gets up from underneath. Um, this is just a crazy idea of dollar store sunshades but I thought they would radiate the heat kind of like an emergency blanket. Um, but I think I'm going to get a sleeping mat and put the sleeping mat on there anyways. So I shouldn't have to worry about that. But I do love cots. So I'm thinking, you know, toss the bag under, toss shoes under, and I get dressed standing. That's the biggest thing. Trying to get dressed lying on an air mattress is one of the hardest things I've ever done. <laughs> but anyways, I thought that this is pretty clever and I also... I just wanted to get your guys' opinions. Um, I mean, these things are made to be out in the snow and out in the elements. I just don't know how waterproof they would be. Normally when it's raining up there, it's raining the whole time. And I really need something that's going to work. So let me know in the comments section what you think. I'm for sure, I think, going to bring this. I just don't know how, how prepared I should be with waterproofing it and everything like that. Because as you guys know, we had a really light winter. And... I didn't get to use this last year ice fishing. So this would be the first run of it. I just like it. It's really fast to pop it up. Really simple. And it's insulated for in the morning. Because you're freezing. Um, but I really do like the setup. I, I actually um, I actually really do sl like sleeping at my dad's tent too. Uh, but I like making my own camp while we're up there. I think that's kind of part of the fun. Got to make your own camp. Um, although I think I'll be closer to him this year than in the past years. I kind of went in that other, uh, in the other area. But this year I'm, I want to be close enough so that we can share the fire and everything like that because that's a really big part of it. But I thought I'd just throw this video up and take it with my phone because I think it's really neat. So please let me know what you think. Um, do you think it's a good idea? I think it'll be fine with most weather. Um, I just I think this is nifty. So let me let me know in the comments what you guys think, and if you have any suggestions, I'm I'm all open ears to hear it. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in another video.